Do you lose focus while up reading an MCAT CARS passage? Maybe it's your ADD or how English isn't your first language, but it's really not your fault. These passages are designed to bore pre-meds. Let's face it, reading on the economy or government isn't your priority. What if instead you had to read about cool new surgeries or how patient care has changed in the past hundred years? Okay, maybe I'm dreaming, but the point is these passages are challenging and everyone feels the same way. If it's written in archaic English and the topic isn't relatable, your mind will naturally lose focus. And you might start drifting and feel like you don't get it. And the guy wearing the Google shirt next to you may seem like he gets it, but that guy doesn't get it either. No one gets it. The MCAT writers know this. They are testing how much you're willing to persevere to become a doctor. You can technically get a 132 on cars with only the big ideas of each passage, but in order to get the big ideas, you need to have a strong concentration. To improve your mental focus, you don't need medication or a better vocabulary. The pill from Limitless would be pretty cool though. Here are six proven tips you can use. First, practice MCAT cars every day. Your brain is a muscle that needs to be strengthened for mental focus, and daily reading will do this. It's like lifting weights. The more often you lift and the heavier the weights, the bigger your muscles will get. And just like your muscles, building concentration takes time. You can't get huge muscles in one day, and the same is true for mental focus. Second, how long can you go before you zone out? Try to read a dull passage and see how long you can go without losing focus. From there, try to beat your previous time. Third, try to imagine you're debating the author about their points of view. Do you agree with what they said or do you disagree? Fourth, what's on your mind the moment you zone out? Create a to-do list of all the things that distract you. It could be the exam you have in two days or the book you have to return at the library or the extended family visiting for the holidays, or even the wedding you have to attend. Write these distractions in a to-do list. This will calm you down and it'll be less likely to distract you the next time you're trying to focus. Five, top scores leave their emotion at the door. Zoning out problems are completely normal, but how you deal with zoning out can be an issue. Keep at it even when it's tough. Don't give up or complain. Your stress levels will definitely build up and you'll need a source to release this stress. That's why the sixth tip is so important. Exercise, do something physical that causes you to sweat for 45 minutes a day. A sharp mind needs a healthy body. If you put in the time this section deserves, you'll not only improve your score, but you'll also become a better and smarter student. You might actually miss studying for the MCAT when it's all over, but don't worry, you always have step one to think about. So how are you planning to prepare for the car section of the MCAT? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to get a head start, feel free to subscribe here. Check out my cars passage a day emails, or if you'd like to see how I teach, enroll in a free trial session today.